Hello guys, right, welcome back to episode 3 of FIFA 15. Um, right, so let's sort out the squad for this game. So, my main striker... Where's this guy come from? Or was he the injured guy? Where's he come from? Well, that's blew it all out the window now, that has. Oh, who's better between him and Barini? Jesus Christ, that... Where has he appeared from? He's 20... That's just blew my thing. I definitely think I'm going to get rid of that and, Ch and Chubby now. Um, right, so it's going to be a toss-up between him and Barinio. Barinio, or Ben, as I'm going to call him. Ron and Ben are my two main strikers, so I'm going to rotate them probably every, either every other game or every two games. Um, McLean, Morrison, Jakob. I think that's going to be my starting midfield. Uh, still need to find a CDM. Um, and I've got Segerson and whatnot to rotate, but I need to, my main one now is to find a CDM. Um, then I've got my back four here. Let's give Zerker a go. I mean, look at his stats. He, he's yellow. I mean, what? Sent far. I'm going. Let's have a look at Evans. I mean, look at that. He's pretty much on par with Evans. So. I think them two are going to be my first choice strikers. I know Jones is... Where are you, Jones? Jones, where are you gone? Jones. There you are. I know he's young, but he actually impressed me when he played that one game. So I'm, I'm going to keep him. All uh, right, substitutes. I've got McManaman, Gardner, Lambert. I think I'm going to take Lambert off then since I've got Barini out. And I'm going to put Fletcher on. Brunt for my hill. Uh, no, be I want Segerson on for. I don't think I'm going to be using McManaman much, so I swap them two out. Uh, so I got. I'm happy with that. Obviously, there's still a few on here that I'm going to have to replace at some point, but we'll we'll worry about that in the future. <laughs> so I'm guessing, I'm thinking then that that's going to be in my first main team lineup. I'll probably sort a second squad out off camera. Um but yeah I'm happy with that. I think that's a pretty cool lineup. The only weak link really is L yeah, but I reckon he'll grow quite quick. Um okay so let's do this. Let's get into our first official game of the season against Manchester City. What a game to start the season off with eh I was hoping they didn't get my ass kicked. Fingers crossed. It's going to be on um, World Class still. I think I'm going to play in red just so I can see the squad. Uh, I was not going to show you their lineup. Six minutes, World Class. Let's do this. Let's hopefully I don't get my ass kicked too much. Right, I think I'm not going to be stupid in this one. I think I'm just going to play it defensive and play it safe. So I'd, I'd rather get a point from Man City if I could, if possible. So I'm just going to play it safe and play defence. I'm not going to play ultra defensive because obviously I want to keep attacking. Um, but I'm not going to be stupid. It's not worth losing three points over. Unless I can get a, a score a goal and I'm just going to play ultra defensive. <laughs> But now I'm going to keep it defensive and hopefully come away with at least a point. I think I need to find a replacement for Nabry as well because he's only a loney, isn't he? And I, I don't really like relying on loney. Oh, 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 no. Damn it. I should have chipped that. I should have chipped it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I don't like relying on lonely players too much because I feel like you're doing all the work for a, another club. Although, I suppose I could try and buy him. But I'll, I'll worry about that in uh, January. About finding a replacement for Nabry. Or Narby, however you want to say his name. I have an idea who I... Oh, that's too hard. Who I want to use as a replacement. Um, I want to see if I can get Jordan Ibe. Because he was a, a loney at Derby County the other year, uh, last season. And he was really, really good. 
Hey, that went out. What the hell? Yeah, he was really good. He's, he's quite, for saying how young he is, he's quite a prolific goal scorer. Pretty much scored in every two, three games. And he, his chance creation was really good. And he's... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there you go, Ben Foster. And he's quite pacey and he's got good ball control. So I think I'm going to try and get him as a replacement just when Narby goes. I know he's a left midfielder, uh, but I'm sure I can switch some around. But yeah, this game, I'm just playing for the point. So this, this gameplay might be a bit crap. Come on, uh, Ekiza. Let's see what you can do. What you, oh, well done. Now I'm dreading a corner because they've got some good headers, Man City has. So I have a feeling this is going to be a goal. They're doing a short corner. All right, fair enough. Kevin De Bruyne's just like tackled the flagpole. Oh, 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 that was close. Ben Foster is off his line a bit then. Where's Tevez gone? I really like that new feature, how it tells you about the transfers mid-game. That's pretty cool. It's the little things that make this game good. Not the big things, I think. Just like the attention to detail. Well... Half time, I can be happy that I'm only, well, I would say 1 0 down, but I'm not, it's 0 0. I don't know where I'm getting these goals from, but I'm happy with that. We're not that knackered, hardly no one's really in yellow. Yellow's getting a bit towards light yellow, light green, but not too bad. 0 0 is good at half time, I'm happy. I'm making a sub. Bloody hell, Sammy and Nasri looks knackered. He's another one, one to Fabian Delph, who was like, I'm not going to transfer, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go, it's not about the money. Then Man City offer a huge contract, and that was terrible. <laughs> and then Man City come and offer him a huge amount of money. He's like, yeah, well, I felt the time was right for me to leave Aston Villa, or West Ham, or wherever it was from. I think it was from Villa, one not he? Like I said in the um, first episode, my knowledge about Premier League isn't the best, so I don't really follow it. I'm more of a, a championship guy. That's it. Oh, that's it, yes. No, no, damn it, I lost it. Why is it sometimes when you've got the best movement, they decide that they don't want to keep hold of the ball? Like, you can see a player running, you're about to pass it, and they just, bleh, they give up. What? Why are they having a free kick? Uh, I knew that was coming. I knew a goal was coming. That was a terrible goal. I don't know how they managed to score that. That was absolutely shocking. I mean, look at this. Seriously. How? That is ridiculous. You know, I've been doing... I'm going to have to go... So they've scored now, so I'm gonna to have to play a bit of attacking football. It's been ever so well then. Ever so well defending. I thought I might have this as a draw, I'd be happy with a draw. And then EA Aids decides to like, nope, nope, we're gonna screw you over. And now my moral's gone. Can't tackle him now either. If they score another one, I'm not gonna be happy. Oh, look at this is what I was talking about. Look at this. Friggin' this time wasting. Seriously. So it goes out for a corner. Seriously, what the point is that? If they score now, this is total horse crap. That's gone out. Look at that. He took the ball straight to the corner then. I saw what he was going to do. Short pass and we'll just stand in the corner and waste a few minutes. It's ridiculous. I'm glad to see that's back in the game. Come on, I need to score now, just to shove it in the faces. I ain't going to score with passes like that. I bet they're not even going to try and score now. They're just going to run straight for the corner. And look at him, he's making a beeline directly for the corner. Look at that. I'm going to go straight to the corner and just hold the ball. I know your plan. It's 
Seriously, look, look, look. Look where they're going. Straight to the corner. They're not even going to try and score. Look at this. Now he's going to stand there for about half an hour. Look at that. Look. This is ridiculous. Look. I'm not... I'm just going to... Look. I'm moving away. And he's just going to stand there. Not even going to try and score. Move my players out of the way. Look. Look at this. I'm just standing there. This is ridiculous. And I can't even tackle him. And if I slide, I get sent up. He should be done for time wasting. <sighs> Where's my stress board? Where is my stress Sorry for the noise guy. I'm going to... Uh, bloody stress board. Already. Oh, and I've knocked my loot crate off. Great. Well, I'd like to say that was a good game. Until the end and they decided to cheat. I hate Man City. I hate Premier League football altogether. Money's ruined it. Everything's ruined it. And then you've got players that do that. I know it's only a game, but seriously. That was ridiculous. So I've lost that. <laughs> Manchester City. Manchester City United have lost too. Ha! But right, anyway, enough of that. So we can stop that. So I want to get development in. An update from France. So I found 12 players. Let's have a look. What's this guy like? Whoa. Is that special something? Yep. We'll scout you. I want to see if we've got a uh, CDM. Whoa. We'll scout you. Uh, what about you? I've already scouted them, haven't I? But, 65. but look at that balance reaction shot. Tempt You know, oh, Treyor. I mean, Treyor is meant to be good, isn't he? We'll scout you. Uh, I'm actually quite tempted for this because he's young. But he's got a good long pass. Well, no, he's 60. I, I'm going to add him to the shortlist. He's going to be one that I might keep an eye on to see how he grows. Uh, delete transfer offer for Samir Nabi. Is that a loan? Two year loan. Yes. I'm happy to accept that. Delete. Delete. What's the player? Disappointed by the team selection. I'll play you in the next game, Segerson. I oh, know that's what I wanted to do, wasn't it? Why am I advancing? Stop, stop, stop. No, no, no. I didn't press. Stop, stop. Thank you. Emails. An update from England. Alfie Young. Gerald Sellers. David Origi. Divock, even. Why am I saying David? George Evans. Mason Bennett. This guy is going to be huge when he... Uh, oh, he's 19. He's going to be huge when he's a um, few years older. He's one to keep an eye on in real life and probably in this game. Along with uh, Will Hughes. Flamini. So as if I could get Flamini. I'm going to scout him anyway because the contract runs out. Odin Wingy. <laughs> I thought he was a striker. Why is he a right midfielder? Um, But yeah. What was I saying? Derby have a quite a few young play up and coming players to keep an eye on. Look at that beard. Kone. Do you remember when there was all that big thing about Kone? Not the player, but that child soldier leader thing. Whatever it, I can't remember. West Brom versus Chelsea, 20th of August. So we know what our next game is after Watford. Right. Player development. Add drill. Where are you? There you are. Let's have a look. So keep possession. I'm gonna if I can get that close control one as well, I'm gonna go for that. Uh three balls, timing pass. Oh wow, so ah these are only suggested. So I can go through. Dribbling. What I just forgot what the one I was going for before that one. Right, keep possession, okay. So I've got keep possession already. So what should we go for? Close control. I'd, I'd like him to have... Okay, I can't select that one. Uh, precision pass. That... Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. 
They're both vision and long pass. That one will get vision up a little bit. I'm going to go for this one, actually. Uh, what else? Chance creation. Would like that. Um, I don't think I can give him any more, can I? So I'm going to go for Barinio. Because I'm going to play him in this next one. I'm going to go for headers and follies. And... Dribbling course, keep possession, close. I think close control would probably be best. So we'll go for them and we'll simulate all. D, B, D, F, D. No, not too bad. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, so I guess it's advancing to our next game against Watford. Oscar set for PSG move for 39 million. Jesus Christ. Right, so at the squad, Verinio. I want to keep him on, so I think I'm going to get swap Morrison out for the moment, Segerson. So I want um, him to get as many games as possible. I think I'm going to play McLean on the right for now, take Nabry off, then give Brunt a game. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Yes. So let's go into our next game against Watford. Okay, playbook. Oh, not yet. Select the kit. I'm going to go for the red again. I like playing in the red kit. It's nice. Okay, and play ball. Oh, come on, Ref. Come on. That should be a red card right there because I didn't even have the bloody ball. A yellow. I didn't even have the bloody ball. Sebastian Prado. What's he doing saying look at your eyes? You should check your eyes. Watch the replay. Watch the replay, mate. Look at that. I've not even got the ball and he's... He's not even... Oh, my God. He's just... What? What have I done? You idiot. Right. What can I do? Who's got the best free kick? Brunt's got good free kick. And he's left footed. That's what I need. I wonder if I could dip this in. Oh, nearly. If only McLean got his head on that, then that would have gone in. Speaking of actually, I was on about replacement for um, Narbury and I said Jordan Ive. I just thought about um, Victor Moses as well if I could get him. I might have a look and see what he's worth in him after this game. I wonder if Watford still have Troy Deeney. He's another one who um, was good when Watford got promoted up a few years ago. And uh, I think they were playing against Leicester, and Leicester had a penalty, and they assumed that they'd won with it. And then whoever I think I can't remember who took it. If it was Leicester, I think it might have been James Vardy. And Leicester all but celebrated, and then Watford went on the counter attack and just scored. That was beautiful. That was. Like just seeing uh, Gianfranco Zola's face. I think it was him. He was the manager of Watford at the time. Just seeing his face and his celebration when Watford scored the goal in like yes, I think it was another 90th minute goal or extra time or something. I didn't want to pass to that. So it's stuff like that that makes me like the Premier League, the Premier League, the Championship a lot better than the Premier League. Because I think the Premier League is just ruined by money. Where it's a championship, it's an all free for all fight for everything, and anything can happen. And me personally, I think that's the best league in the world. Championship, not the Premier League. Champions, the Premier League's just ruined by money. Like you also, um, you don't have too many plastic fans in uh, the Championship like you do in the Premier League. Like I know there's a few people. If a team's doing well in the Premier in Championship, and you get some people say, "Oh yeah, yeah, I've always been a fan of them," because and I've got they'll just spout some crap about 
how they've got like links to it like i don't know they used to go on holiday there when they were a kid or something so a bit of like sentimental value when it's the first time they talked about it or stuff like that but then you got like the diehard fans of the champion oh oh come on let's count yes yes brilliant let's ben go on ben go on ben go oh he's, he's still got it he's lost it damn it go on ben 10 Come on, Ben 10. No! I, was, I think that was my first shot in game, wasn't it? Was it the first shot of the overall game from both teams? And it was just off. No! Oh, oh, oh! Yes! Sess and Young! Sess and Young's. Ow, my wrist. Whew. Finally, I've scored. Jesus Christ, I've got sweaty palm syndrome. Look at all them yellow shirts there, man. It's that miss kick, though, that done it for me. Oh, Jesus. Thank God for that. I just need to keep this lead now, because... I'm terrible at keeping leads, as you saw in my derby career mode. I score and then I lose it. Or they score first and then I score one back and then I lose it. <sighs> Don't score. Don't score. I'm paranoid that they're going to score now. And it's oh, 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 oh. Counter attack, counter attack. Come on. Come on, Ben 10. He's getting knackered. Oh, he's got it though. Yes, yes, yes. Ow, I keep clicking my wrist. I shouldn't do that with a sprained wrist, but come on, 90th minute penalty. Oh my God. Look at that. <sighs> Poor guy, I feel sorry for him. Top right, top right, top right. Yes, yes, I believe I can fly. You're the guy. Look at that. Yes. Come on, guys. Beautiful. And the crowd. Look at the Watford fans. Like, oh, god damn it. Whew. I like that celebration as well, how it goes down the camera. That was awesome. 90th minute goal. Oh, I'm so happy. So, so happy. Sort of made up for the loss at Man City. We want three. We want three. Uh, I've been dirty. I shouldn't have gone for the cutback. I've just been dirty and cheating. And we've done it. We finally won our first game. I'm happy. Well, we won. Didn't we win another game in um, the tournament? But this is the game that matters. Shots five to two, three to one, fifty-one to forty. I'm happy with that. I'm going to advance. Spurs, some Spurs won, Norwich won, Newcastle won, and West Ham and Leicester drew. I wonder where that puts us in the table now. Where are we? We're seventh. Wow, that's not too bad. Right, advance. And then I'm going to end this episode here, and we'll play Chelsea in the next one. Stop before it because I want to do a trade. I can't do it. Damn it. Never mind. Right, an update from France. Anyone decent? Stefan Rahi Rahima Mana Mana. Wow. Try saying that when you're drunk. We'll scout him. Scout this guy. Hmm. Here's my weekend stands out, so I'll scout him. Oh, I'm so glad I can end this episode on a high note. Pierre Aubameyang keeps coming up. Scout him. I'm going to have to scout him just to see what he's worth. Because he, he keeps popping up in that email. So, yeah, because I'm going to get Robin. Imagine if we could sign, me on a, sign him on a free contract. 190 grand a week. Jesus Christ. Tim Close. I'm going to scout him. I know he's, he's, he's 27. That's not bad, actually. 
a scout of Bummer Young. Newcastle, <laughs> Inter Milan, Newcastle, United and Stoke City. But can you do it on a rainy night in Stoke? On a Monday night in Stoke? Right, delete that. I just want to have a quick look at uh, Victor Moses. Does he still play for Chelsea? I think he does, doesn't he? Victor Moses. Oh, he plays for West Ham. Oh, he's on loan. I'm going to scout him anyway because hopefully it's a year-long loan and then I can get Nabry for him. Well, get him to replace Nabry because I'm going to need to find someone to replace him. Um, right, guys. I'm going to end that episode here on a happy note that we finally won a game. Um, so it's not all too doom and gloom. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed that episode. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.